And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Zoe elusives. We're going to be playing an elusive deck with Targon and PNZ, um, where we're going to uh, be trying to buff up our elusives. We're going to be playing some little ones. You know, like Teemo is just a 1 1 for one, Zoe also just a 1 1. Then we'll have like Lunari Shadestalker be a 2 3, Sparklefly a 1 2. Um, so we're going to need to buff them up. So to help with that, we got PNZ, we got Suit Up. They can change those 1-1s, one set them to 4-4. Four, four. We can have um, Mentor the Stones, grant them plus 2, plus 2 permanently, so that's nice. We can use our Sunblessed Vigor to grant plus 0, plus 2 for some protection. And then we also have Gems, Mountain Goat and Gift Giver create gems so that the gems can uh, raise the power of our elusives. Um, besides that, we have uh, some extra cycling to get some more card draw in here to be able to filter through our deck. So we got Zonite Urchin and um, Sump Dredger to be able to discard extra gems and be able to draw more cards so we don't run out of gas. And of course, the Pill Cascade cycles as well. And then our protection is is like the Pill Cascade, the Sun Blessed Vigor. We got a Bastion in here. And of course, the suit ups, like I was saying. Rising Spell Force also does a good job of being like a decimate sometimes that we need it for the plus four plus zero just do four damage to them if we need four damage or also if they do block if they have an elusive blocker that can be a good card there too but that's what our rising spell force is doing in here helping finish games a couple of hush for some interaction so whenever they're buffing up their stuff um, we can silence it or if they have an elusive blocker we can silence that to be able to get through and that's the whole deck so there we go so it's going to be zoe timo um, elusive aggro. All right, so we're going to go play our five games in ranked, and we'll try out this newest donation deck here. All right, prediction should start if we have... Maybe, is Rad there to start the prediction? Or here, I'll start it. Okay, our opening hand, we're playing against Lucian Hecarim, so Grand Plaza deck. Uh, we're going to keep turn one Teemo, and... I guess I keep all of these. Um, you know, I could see Mulliganing like Urchin, but I think we keep Shade Stalker, Pale Cascade. Cool, Gift Giver, Gift Giver goes with Urchin. So I'll go Mentor the Stones next turn. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Bad for the teeth, though. Gold floating crystals. All right, down to 14. So I hope they play Grizzled Ranger, because that takes up their turn, and we can hush the Grizzled Ranger. Don't get in my way. Hmm. We can still play another challenger. Not spectacular. Wow. <clears throat> That's a pretty crazy turn, right? Turn four. So they would have had a. a so that was, so turn four, they got three 2-2 two, two challengers, a 3-3 three, three challenger that replaced itself. And then that would have been, if we didn't have the hush, that would have been a 5-3 double attack challenger also. We would have had all of that. All right, so Mentor the Stones plus Lunari Shadestalker. 
urchin. I think we, yeah, I think we go mention the stones. Requires concentration. And then I'll wait on the Shade Stalker. Your time. Okay. I will take no attack for ten. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess I have to play something first though. I have 10 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mm. So I'm, I'm 1 damage short. They've gotten... They have 8 puff caps, though. I think no matter what I do, I'm 8, 1 damage short, I think. Looking into the future, I see... Purple? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they, they burned my mana instead of dealing 10 damage to me. I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah, I'm just one mana, one damage short. Put them down to one. Hope that they draw a puff cap. Yeah, they can just have a bunch of things die to help out their Lucian. That is pretty cool. Alright, so it looks like that's basically what their hand has been. I'll sleep when they're dead. Come on, puff cap. No. No puff cap. You've got to be kidding me. Just puts me to five. Well, it basically puts me to four, right? Like this this attack is plus four. Oh right, they get the other attack. Oh my gosh, yeah, they didn't draw a puff cap there. Oh, they didn't draw a puff cap. They get two three threes. Yeah, 
They challenge that, challenge that. I I have to throw my sparkle fly in front of Lucian. Oh, the shark chariot comes back. The shark chariot comes back. Oh. No, the shark chariot. And new Lucian. Allowing them to level up Lucian and, you know, get like that extra attack and everything. I guess it was I guess it wasn't new Lucian. Alright, over to Overwhelm. There you go, Draco. You ch figured out how to ch change your name here on Twitch. Awesome. We'll keep these ones. I guess some treasure tussles with their stuff pretty well. these cards. Don't play them. Not and ready. Ooh, Ice Veil Archer? I was not expecting Ice Veil Archer. I was expecting, you know, like, you know, like the, the two drops that we played last game. <sighs> Guess I still trade, though. Rising spell force. These old eyes still see far and clear. This looks a little bit different. That's gonna be a good hush. Oh, maybe I should just Rising Spell Force that. Instead of using the Bastion. I went pretty quickly to the Bastion. United, nothing can stop us. Ah, they hit the Allegiance. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Our rights fill the valley! We are cycling through our deck pretty good. I think I'm probably going to have the Sum Treasure discard the Urchin. Just gets farther away from leveling up Teemo. We can keep that 5-5 five five from having Overwhelm. Could also cycle the Timo's mushroom, the Timo's mushroom cloud. Maybe I just do that and keep Urchin to cycle something else. Sorry, Timo. Okay, 
Zoe's Sleepy Trouble Bubble. That one's not bad. So Zoe's at three. You own what you take. Okay, a 10-11, huh? Well, I'll stun that. Why no rising spell force to do damage? I just, you know, we've seen like calling strike from them already, and I just, just want to save that. Okay, yeah, so this is slow. This one's on the house. Safeguard our homes. This is not the way. They only have one card left. And we can we get to hush this Sejuani the next turn whenever they attack with this thing. We'll paddle star that. Where are you at, Zoe 6? <clears throat> Zoe's getting there. Seven to like, you know, turn on Nightfall. Yeah, we could have hushed Teemo to avoid the challenge, but this 10-11 Overwhelm I was worried about for the next attack. Gems are superb. Uh, bad for the teeth, though. Oh, floating crystals. Yeah, never know what hit them. Look out for Reavers! Okay, so Zoe is at eight. Getting pretty close. One mana spell to stop that? No, not so much. Is there another champion? Probably, it's gotta be Trend of Mirror. <clears throat> so another 10 power overwhelms. They're gonna have a bunch of 10 power overwhelms. So basically dead. I think I need a block with this sparkle fly. Stand and fight. Ride onward. Hopefully this works. Uh, I guess they're out of amp. They're out of mana. So yes, this will work. Okay, good. But I know I don't get like the sparkle fly um, now with the level up Zoe. But maybe we find another one. Um, I can wait on you a turn. Or let's see, four eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. I guess I could just open attack with all elusive. Yeah, because we, we just open attack here now. Alright, and we got a suit up. Let's gem you. Just to heal you past one health. Gem you. Gem you. Then we can suit up the doggy. We need to. That 
it's still lethal. Alright, great suit up draw. Great suit up draw. Alright, GG's. Perfect. Got there. So this was the deck that we lost to first, Lucian, Hecarim. We keep Teemo and look for some interaction, and or pump. So far, it looks like the same list. Okay, I want to check something real quick. Okay. Reporting in. Don't get in my way. So I'm not going to play anything else right now, even though that we have the one mana, because I want to have four mana right now for suit up. So I can suit up Teemo. Illusion. See Illusion. Mm. Got me good. Uh, I was hoping for a, an, another one mana elusive where I could play the one mana elusive and suit up this turn. This is the two mana elusive. Still gonna play that. Alright, so that levels up Lucian, and levels up Lucian, and they're going to get an additional attack. Oh, right, we killed the first Lucian, so it wasn't going to. Never mind, but now this does. They won't get an additional attack. Have any kind of pump spell with that mana. Be brave. And second Lucian down. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. They're taking it all. GG's. So basically, you know, I still had like the rising spell force. 
you know, like, they, they had to, like, block here and then see what they have with those spells, but, you know, they must have just had, like, a bunch more units and, like, spells that made units, I guess. Same deck again. It's weird how that happens. You know, like, you'll have... You'll just go through, you know, different... Um, different little spats of playing the same deck. A bunch. Um, and, you know, it's not, it's not, like, necessarily, like, okay, now this deck is just dominating the metagame, you know? It's just... You just go through that. So that card's definitely gone. This card's gone. Suit up has been very clutch for us. I think I'm gonna keep it. I would like a champion. Yuck. Really wanted a champion. Maybe I should have got rid of the Shade Stalker also. I don't know. All three games they played Bark Beast on turn one. Let's do this before they get a good blocker. It's like they don't really want to block with either of those. Cool, it's a free gem. Zoe! There's a champion. Yeah, yeah. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. <laughs> Suit up. Sounds good. I don't know. Think, you know, thinking about giving the buff to the Zoe and then going with the suit up with something else. I could suit up the Mentor of the Stones and make that thing a 4 4. Oh, right, because then this thing. Oh, this thing grows to be a 5 5. Oh, that's messy. All right, see if we drew another cheaper protection spell. Cool, but so, oh, we got Teemo for the suit up. And all these gems. That's not good. Nothing like the great outdoors. Crack their bones, see what's inside. Another and another. Okay. In case they wanted to attack with the heart the iron harbinger, I wanted to trade here. I didn't want to really block with the with that elusive. Back to 19. Card is scary. I bear a message from Oh hey, what's that? Yeah, that card's scary. Let's 
Sparkle fly. Oh, stop with these dark water scourges. I don't like this healed Nexus for six all the time. This is gonna level up Hecarim, so we have to we have to be able to kill a leveled up Hecarim. Gosh. They're just gonna be able to attack again. I guess attacking again isn't as valuable. This is bad. This is very bad. I can do. Yeah. Hide no longer. Yeah, they, they just attack again and get to play one of these things too. I'm at three. Yeah, I'm. I can stay alive at one. Depending on what they have for the other two mana, I can stay alive at one, but all of my I'm gonna have everything dead in there at twenty, and they're gonna have leveled up Lucian and, and two three and multiple cards. That was just an incredible turn for them. dead. Pretty dead. GG's. Fiora Zoe. So another Zoe deck, but this one with Fiora. So this one's going to be playing a whole bunch of protection for their uh, two champions. I love that we also have Zoe. Um, let's get rid of the Sparkle Fly. I like the Zoe, I like the Vigor. Like, Zoe's champion spell is still good, too. I think I'm just gonna keep both Zoe's. I guess maybe we don't need to keep Vigor. I don't know about Vigor. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, at least we're playing against a different deck. No Fiora. Rising spell force. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. I never hope. Oh God. We go this route. I'll save the stun. Oh, 
Okay. We got that card for free, you know, from the um, from the Zoe anyway. That super cool star chart. I'm just gonna discard our, our sparkle fly. Look for something else. Keeping some blessed figure available. Okay. Some cool star chart. I could stun them both. All these are good cards. Like, these are the three best options as far as we could go. You know, like, obviously, the, e the Equinox could kind of get rid of the Sparkle Fly. Uh, we could just challenge the Sparkle Fly again. Which, so I guess Serpent is better than. Serpent's better than Equinox. Yeah, Serpent's better there. So it's either Serpent or Crescent Strike. And I guess it's. I guess it's Serpent. Cool, no Pill Cascade. Let's worry about Pill Cascade. I could just wait on that also. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. I don't know. What do I do against Fiora? I don't know what to do against Fiora. Fiora is the mirror breaker here with the, these two Zoe decks. I thought we had a really, really good chance of winning this unless they drew another Fiora and they drew another Fiora. So now I don't think we have a good chance of winning this at all. We need to draw, like, a progress day. This will be quick. No blocks at all. I'll just make a team of 4 or 5, I guess. So it matches up against Fiora. Fiora can obviously just kill my Sparklefly, though. Ooh, that could be good to help my Sparklefly. I like them just drawing Sparkleflies. I like them drawing units and not spells. I hate that, obviously.
Any kind of protection for Fiora right now, that's good news. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. I don't really see the point of using any of these cards right now. If I block Mentor, so if I block Mentor the Stones, they get the three gems. The three gems help heal the Fiora. So I don't think I can. I don't think I can allow them to heal Fiora. I guess I was just going to be suit, suit upping that thing. Anyway. I, I was thinking like getting it getting it to two health right away for a single combat, but they've already... Yeah, I was just going to be casting suit up on that. Okay, Pill Cascade. Pill Cascade means they can't just single combat my Gift Giver and kill it. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Wow. They just had all Bastions in hand. Ooh. Man, what a top deck with that Pale Cascade. Alright, we killed the Fiora. And there we go. GG's. Wow. Good thing we didn't block the Mench of the Stones and let them heal the Fiora. Right? If we would have blocked the Mench of the Stones, we would have died. Wow. They had the Sharp Sight. Yeah, because they had that sharp side to block the elusives too. Oh man, that was close. Whew, that was close. Okay, so we ended up three and two with Team of Zoe. I think we got kind of lucky in that game. I think that uh, overall Fiora probably breaks that mirror, but I think we had some like real good cards at the right time. We had like a nice hush in there, and and you know like the fact that all their uh, pump spells were just all Bastions. Um, and everything, and you know, we got a really nice Pale Cascade draw. This deck's pretty sweet, though. You know, like this deck's, you know, like just kind of what I'm finding, with, like these Zoe decks. Like, there's just a lot of stuff you can do with like these Zoe decks, and um, and you know, like Targon's pretty awesome. Like, you can play a longer game with these Targon cards, and these elusives are good. Uh, it's hard to block the elusives, and you know, adding PNZ in here gives gives us the Sump Dredger, the Zonite Urchin. Both of those were good of just discarding gems and drawing more cards. And, uh, you know, digging through the deck. Uh, those worked out really well. But yeah, Mench of the Stones with these elusives. Pretty strong. I, w I have to say that I was super impressed by Suit Up. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, you know, exactly sure. But yeah, Suit Up was awesome. There were so many times where it was really great for us. You know, we're, we're playing these very small elusives with like Teemo, Zoe, setting those to 4-4, four, four, spending the four mana on it. Uh, that was, that was big. I think before suit up wasn't as good when you kind of only had like Teemo, but now that you have Teemo and Zoe, so now both of your champions are are um, you know much better with suit up. I think that, that that's really Im improved this card. I didn't really like Rising Spell Force was kind of whatever. We didn't really use it too much. We did use it that very last game, and uh, that very last game to you know when they had like a Fiora challenge my Teemo, we got to use the Rising Spell Force to get rid of that. Uh, Fiora, so that was important to that last game. But for the most part, it's you know it's it's okay. You know, it's it's nothing nothing special, but you know, 
you don't have you don't have like you know 40 perfect cards to put in the deck i didn't dislike it you know i i i don't necessarily think that they should all be bastions you know instead of rising spell force i don't know it was all right it was it was all right uh there we go there's there's teemo zoe though pretty pretty sweet with the gems and the elusives those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. If you've been uh, enjoying some Teemo Zoe yourself, let me know how it's going or if you're playing this deck. Uh, how's Yeah, how's it going? And uh, if you're just playing other Zoe decks, let me know. I want to hear other kind of Zoe decks that you're playing. Um, but there we go. That's it here for Teemo Zoe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.